hello everyone welcome back in this video we'll see how to patch azure virtual machines using the update management center so i have logged into the azure portal and uh, currently i have a couple of vms running azvm 01 and 02 so I'm going to patch these two virtual machines using the update management center. So you can search for update management center here. Okay, so if you click on machines under manage, here we can see the list of uh, virtual machines. So from here, you can just uh, for example select uh, az vm01 and uh, you will see some of the options here so check for updates meaning uh, you can run the assessment on the selected virtual machines and uh, it will be shown up if there is any updates available and the number of updates and uh, here using the one-time update uh, you don't need to schedule the um, you know the configure maintenance configuration so without that uh, you can just directly update run the update one time for the selected virtual machine and uh, schedule updates for you know scheduling the uh, recurring updates so you can create a maintenance configuration and uh, add the list of virtual machines that you want to schedule the patching in a recurring basis and uh, update settings so if you click on this update settings so for patching the azure virtual machines using the update management center you need to change the patch orchestration into customer managed schedule then only we can you know schedule the patching for these virtual machines so once you changed click on save and similarly you can select the azvm02 and click on update settings and uh, for this one also it is set to windows automatic update so i'm going to change this to customer managed schedules So basically, when you deploy a new virtual machine, so there you will, you know, get an option that you can change this there itself instead of, you know, changing it here. So for any of the existing virtual machines, which are, you know, already created and uh, you need to change this option. Okay, so here you can see patch orchestration customer managed schedule for both AZVM01 and 02. So next uh, we'll create a maintenance configurations to schedule the patching for these two virtual machines. So you can click on maintenance configurations. And uh, I'm going to create a new maintenance configuration. You can choose the resource group and uh, configuration name. And uh, select the region. And uh, under the maintenance scope, make sure you are selecting guest Azure VM or enabled VM slash service. And uh, for reboot setting, reboot if required and uh, here we need to add a schedule so let me make a schedule so i'm selecting today's date and you can put the time at what time you want to run this patching And uh, choose the time zone. So based on that time zone, uh, it will execute the schedule. And you can put the maintenance window. 
and here you can you know put the uh, repeat either you want to repeat on every day week or month and you can also add the end date if you don't want to run this schedule beyond this you know mentioned date okay next dynamic scope and click next for machines here we are going to add the virtual machines that we want to patch so i'm selecting azvm 01 and 02 here and uh, click next so here uh, under the updates uh, option we need to include the update classification so since uh, these are windows machines i am just unchecking the linux machine security and critical updates and uh, under windows machine i am going to apply all the available patches not just only the critical updates and security updates so i am just selecting all the updates and click on add here there is an option if you want to you know exclude or include any particular kb id or packages so that uh, it will install those packages or exclude those packages as well click on next and uh, review plus create okay validation passed let me click on create okay let's wait for this deployment to be completed okay so the deployment is complete you can click on go to resource and uh, you can see the maintenance configuration here so here you can see the machines that we have added here Okay, and uh, here is the schedule and here is the updates. Okay, we can see uh, the two virtual machines, one in Central India and uh, second one in the East US. If you want to add uh, any uh, more machines, you can add from here also. And uh, if you want to change this schedule, you can add or modify the schedule also once after you have created and similarly for updates also you can make it changes okay so there is a maintenance configuration resource you know we can just uh, open it and uh, you can create a new configuration or you can edit the existing configuration as well so next if you go to the update management center okay under the history you can see all the histories that has been done previously so let's wait for the schedule to get triggered and then we can see the the machine name or the maintenance run id here so that uh, we can just monitor here and if you click on the machines uh, we can see uh, the associated schedule so uh, we have attached uh, the associated schedule for these two virtual machines patch azvm01 so that is the one we just created and attached to this two vms okay now we can see the schedule is triggered for both the vms as you can see the machine name here and the maintenance run id and the status in progress and it is you know install the updates so if you click on this maintenance run id you can see more details it shows the overall progress and uh, number of updates that will you know get installed and the total machines and uh, it will also show you the start time and uh, end time once this is completed 
and if there is any failure success so everything will be reported here and uh, if you click on this updates deployed you will see the list of you know updates that is you know installed here now it is install update operation is ongoing and uh, once the server reboot you know completed you will see the reboot status completed here and similarly for the other vms that we scheduled okay so it will take some time to apply the patches on those two servers so uh, we will you know come back once this is completed so let me go to history and uh, here under by machines you can see uh, the vm01 and uh, 02 the status succeed so here you can see the update operation for assessment and uh, install update similarly for the vm01 assessment and the install update so here we can see there were two out of two updates got installed and uh, there was no errors reported and uh, here you can see the resource type as well and the last assessment time so if you click on this maintenance run id for any of the virtual machines and uh, here we can see the overall status which is succeeded and uh, the number of updates got installed which is three out of three there was no update failure and uh, total virtual machines there were two virtual machines and uh, here you can see the updates by deployment status so we have three updates that got success and uh, under the machines you can see uh, here two out of two so if you click on this you can see you know the updates that got installed on this virtual machines so there were one definition classification and one update rollup and uh, this virtual machine doesn't require reboot because it says not needed okay and uh, if i click on the other virtual machine uh, it says reboot status completed so that means this vm got rebooted and uh, here also two windows updates got installed okay and uh, next uh, from this page you can see the maintenance window that is 2 hours 55 minutes and uh, the start time so it started uh, 6 10 a.m and uh, this is the end time so looks like it got uh, you know completed quickly within 10 minutes okay next uh, you can also check it by going by maintenance run id and uh, here you can see the maintenance id and the status and uh, the updated machines and the maintenance configuration that is associated to this schedule and uh, the start time end time you can see it here if you click on this succeed you can also see the same uh, window here and you can also go by this maintenance run id tab and in future if you want to you know either reschedule or add any additional machines you can also use this same maintenance configuration or you can create a new one so we can you know uh, create a multiple maintenance configuration for different set of machines that will have a different uh, maintenance schedule and uh, similarly you can also do that for the linux virtual machine and uh, we'll also you know onboard the uh, azure arc enabled uh, machines so that are the on-premise or non-azure vms so that we'll see it in the another video Okay, so that's it in this video and I'll see you in the next. Thank you.